Hello and welcome back to the channel. It has been a big, big week for me and maybe other science fiction fans. So today I'm going to talk about some things I'm really excited for and some of the news from the past two days. I don't typically cover news, but both of these projects are very near and dear to my heart. So if you enjoy these types of videos, let me know by liking this one and subscribe to the channel. So let's get into it. First on the list is a new book announcement called The Mercy of Gods by author James S.A. Corey, aka Ty Frank and Daniel Abraham, aka the co-authors of The Expanse. I watched the live stream for the book reveal on Orbit, and they managed to sneak in a little more information than what the blurb tells us. According to the authors, the setting takes place in a very distant future and is a retelling of the Book of Daniel through the lens of science fiction. With Ty Frank, humble as ever, calling it the disappointing love child of Frank Herbert and Ursula Le Guin. Now, the actual Book of Daniel revolves around an apocalyptic setting, visions, an otherworldly mediator, an emphasis on cosmic events, angels, demons, and faithfulness to a higher power when surrounded by a foreign culture. So it's going to be interesting seeing how the mercy of gods interprets all of this with a science fiction flair. It's an interesting concept. The authors did confirm that there will be an alien culture, a hive, humans who are captured and made useful tools, a good amount of science, and characters who are scientists. They also made a vague mention of a planted spy within the characters. Frankly, this sounds pretty cool, and I'm excited to see what the authors can do when they are stepping into their sophomore series with a story that sounds much more speculative and otherworldly than their other work. This is a big step in the genre, and the thing I'm most excited for is meeting some new characters from the minds of the authors that dreamed up people like Christian Avasarala or Amos Burton. If anyone is interested in this book, read it with me, because come August 6th, that's exactly what I'll be doing, and of course, I'll cover it on the channel. And the next big piece of news is that Netflix's sci-fi show, Three-Body Problem, which is an adaptation of the beloved Chinese sci-fi series of the same name, has officially announced its release in March and also released a teaser. In regards to the directors and the adaptation, Liam Cunningham, who plays the part of Thomas Wade, was recently quoted saying, It's always the quality of the writing, and these guys, it's some of the best writing I've ever come across in my life. And that's a huge compliment and a lot to live up to. The Three Body Problem book series is one of the most wild science fiction stories out there. There's mystery and an against-the-clock race to solve it to prepare the world for something that is so incomprehensible that it changes science as a whole. Netflix is keeping pretty quiet on what to expect as to not spoil the surprise of the story, but the casting looks great and there does seem to be some changes from the source material, which is always something to be expected. But this is the first big series from producers David Benioff and D.B. Weiss since the last season of Game of Thrones in 2019. It's going to be interesting seeing how they stitch together such an ambitious story, especially coupled with the fact that the series was secured by a $200 million deal with Netflix, so it seems like there's a lot writing on this series. I'm most excited to see Liam Cunningham's character, Thomas Wade, someone who works for an intelligence agency and perhaps a polar opposite role compared to his Davos Seaworth from Game of Thrones. And the other character that I think is really going to shine is being played by actor Benedict Wong, who is playing De Shi, who in the books is a wisecracking, chain-smoking, rude but incredibly intuitive police officer from Beijing. This character is a delight and I cannot wait to see it. 
This is hands down one of my favorite characters from the series, and honestly, I think he's an amazing casting choice. He's got the swagger for the role, and it's almost exactly how I pictured him. Three Body Problem was originally announced to air in January, but has been moved forward to March, which is actually a good thing for people thinking about reading the books before the show airs. So, if you are interested in either of these two stories and are looking to read The Mercy of Gods with others, reach out or join my Discord channel. If you're a Three Body Problem fan or wanting to read it, do the same. I am always looking for fans to buddy read with, And because I mostly cover the Wheel of Time, I don't always find the sci-fi people. It's the two things I'm most excited for in 2024, and I'm shocked that all of this news came out back-to-back within 24 hours. That wraps things up. Thanks for watching. I hope to hear from you, and I will see you back next time.